hello everybody so uh, in this screencast I want to look at how is your code structured for a uh, recycler view and how you created a, an outside adapter so the adapter is is a separate class right so here is the adapter is a separate class the question is how to communicate from outside this class to the activity like for example let's say we have another activity so we had this app let's say when the user clicks I want to go to a next to the, to the next screen so how do I do that? So for example, uh, somebody would say, yeah, just go uh, when the user clicks on an item, right? Uh, they just uh, go through an intent to another activity. Sure. So if I want to go to another activity, let's say here in the onclick listener, I will create intent. Uh, int, for example, and uh, we'll just import it. Uh, okay right equals new intent i need the context so i need the context remember we need the context let's say we create a new activity let's say you create a new activity a blank activity let's call it um, the details activity for example some details activity all right finish so i have another activity okay so now i want to go to the details activity usually we um, we have the context here so how do I get the context let maybe there is a get context no but the interesting thing is that you have the view right so basically you have all these views the views maintain the context also so for example if I use this root this is a view for example root view dot get context so I can get the context and I want to go to the details activity dot class right so that and then I can add whatever extras I want to add and I could just say start activity so there is no start activity because these methods exist in the these methods exist in activities they don't exist inside the view holder which is part of an another class right so anyhow so how do I do that let's try the same thing so can I uh, root view dot get context all right and then I could say start start activity there it is intent so I can do it this way right so when you run it when I click on any of the rows it will go to the next activity so we go here we are here I I will click and I went to another activity perfect so this works another more cleaner way to do this <coughs> is to create an interface and then when you are creating and the activity implements the interface and then the activity passes the interface to the uh, to the adapter and then the adapter passes the the interface to the view holder <coughs> so now we can do that so that's straightforward so let's say we create the interface let's define the interface first let's say interface let's call it a uh, user uh, uh, recycler um, uh, i user recycler for example or something okay and uh, what you could do is you could say for example uh, void uh, this is a function that we're defining um, clicked or maybe go to uh, user details right you can even pass the user here that you would like to go to and so on so basically that's the interface right now inside we are going to pass that interface to the recycler view so let's create an m listener okay let's say we have the i uh, recycler right and call it say for example m listener right <coughs> okay so i have the m listener right now i need to pass it so i'm going to pass it when i'm creating it and i'm creating it when i use the constructor so where is the constructor for it is here this is when you construct right this is when we're constructing it right this is the constructor and in addition to the data I'm going to pass you also the listener so I use a listener okay and I will say this dot m listener equal m listener so that's how you create it right and then when you are creating these view holders we need to pass it also to the view holder right because the view holder is the one that has the 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 uh, event handling is happening in the view holder so uh, similarly the view holder has a constructor right see here and what we're going to do is we're just going to un update that constructor to have also a ui uh, what do you 
you call it the IU listener and you call it M listener right and basically we are going to pass it to that M listener that's and it will have a local variable that will store it right so basically we'll come here and we'll say this dot same story this dot M listener equal the M listener that it's receiving right and there just forgot to put an e here all right and an e here. perfect so basically it receives the m listener uh, then when are we where are we creating the view holder here and we just pass it to the m listener all right so basically you have this listener that's trickling down from the activity all the way down to the view holder now uh, let's go to the activity and that activity will implement the uh, user adapter dot uh, the, it's called the, the listener that we just created i u list here it is and when you go here implement the method and it will has to have the method all right now you see when you are creating the adapter we also need to pass it the listener and in that case that listener is this right because that's what you because you the, you, the, the activity implements the listener all right so now we have it and you go to users what we're going to do is that instead of what we have been doing here uh, by creating the intent here i'll just copy this stuff or cut it i'm going to do it here okay and here i'm going to say this here it is for and i don't need all of that to get start activity right now if you go back here how to use it is very easy all right say so m listener dot go to details user right so now if we run it so basically let's see what's going to happen is that when you click you are using the m listener to call this method this method calls the method inside the activity which has access to the uh, to the context and has ac access to the method of start activity all right so click here right here very nice so that's how you could communicate back right all right so please let me know if you have any questions thank you